Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Monday morning. It is 10 o'clock and I'm about to go into Ella Dog and hang out with them for a bit. And then I need to go and find a fishing net because tomorrow I'm taking the kids with some friends down to the river to do some crayfish hunting. Um, and so we're going to need some new fishing nets because they always get trashed after we've been there. They get caught in the rocks and stuff. Um, so I need to do that. And I also need to go and see the lady who I will be house sitting for for the next three days from tomorrow till Friday, basically. Anyway, let's go see Ella Dog. That went very well. We took Ella Dog for a walk um, and then sat and had a cup of tea for a bit. So I've popped into town to get these fishing nets and I'm thinking of getting Link a harness for when we do town stuff so that I can use a double-ended lead um, so that when he does his spinny thing I've got a bit more control over him than using the slip collar. Also, they've both lost their tags, their, you know, info tags, so I need to get new ones of those. So I'm going to go over to the pet shop. I managed to get a parking space in town, which was fantastic on the side of the road, rather than having to go into the car parks. So I'm going to go and do that now, and then I need to pop to see this lady. Um about the house set that I start tomorrow. What do we go for? Oh, they're quite cute, aren't they? I think cute is the way to go. Well, you don't get much info on that. What info do you need? Most people do put a surname and telephone number. Really? Do they not put the dog's name? No. Okay. I've just been very naughty and I've got gone in and got myself some really nice food now it's expensive it's 14 pound for all of that but it's a beautiful potato salad that is a butternut butternut tazine with pomegranate and salmon but I've decided to treat myself. I'm going to go over and have a cup of tea with my parents because I've had a phone call to say that um, the lady is not in at the moment. So I'll go and have a cup of tea with my parents and then I'll pop over there. <laughs> like I'm hiding behind my box, look. I'm hiding behind my box. Yeah. Right, let's taste the potato. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, this is a butternut with pomegranate and tazine. Tazine, is that tzatziki? Tzatziki? Mum's face. Don't think she's impressed. That's good. Well, it's not a cheese sandwich. It's not a cheese sandwich. No, it's not a cheese sandwich. Um, not a salmon. Mm. Recognise that. Mm. It's good. It's all good. Good. It's expensive. But good. I'm coming down the driveway to the house that I will be staying at. Very, very nice it is too. It'll be my home for the next three days from tomorrow. So far away now. It's, it's over by the oh, I grass. see. Where's Mum? I can hear it calling. Oh, there's another one under the tree. Yeah, and another one on the far side. So oh, that might be the mum actually. I oh, know. Yes, it that, is. That little one there. There's a mum oh, on the in the reeds. right, yeah, in the reeds. Yeah. She's probably like, just give me five minutes, kids. Seriously. Seriously. Okay, there's been some confusion. <laughs> So, she wasn't expecting me to pay, even though I'd invoiced her for nights as well. Um, but she doesn't want anyone there overnight. So, it's going to make it slightly more complex for me, because obviously if I'm on site, there's less rushing back and forth. You know, I'm there, I'm just doing things at my leisure. Um, so, I'm adjusting the bill to suit that. 
and now thinking about my very early morning starts because obviously I'll be here and I've got to drive there got to walk the dogs feed everybody and get into work for eight o'clock so it's a bit faffy I would stay in my van which is something she did say but my van is still in the garage and I rang this morning and I was going to get a phone call in five minutes and I haven't had a phone call so I'm going to call them again and see what's going on um, but I don't suppose my van's going to be back today because otherwise I would go with that option but Anywho, I might give them a quick call now before I start. I'm going to cut down the rhubarb as well and make a rhubarb crumble. Update on Spog is, well, the part they sent was the wrong part again. They got onto the phone to them. They ended up sending them my turbo. This is the leading turbo people in the country. Apparently really good suppliers, well-renowned. And now they can see what they're saying. Mine don't laugh mine blows instead of sucks apparently and the ones are selling sending suck instead of blow or vice versa but either way mine is the reverse of the ones they've been sending so they are they've now sent out a part which apparently they'd sent out last week and it's not in the garage so they're like you know it's now monday where is this part so he's been on the manufact onto the company and they've been chasing it up um, and I've said to him, ideally, it would really help with this job if I can stay on site, even if I'm not staying in the house, because then I can stay in my van. Um, and that would make my life a lot easier doing this job this week, which I had obviously, you know, uh, otherwise my mornings are going to be a very early start, which is fine. It's only for a few days, but it's not really what I had in mind. Um, so he said potentially my van could be ready tomorrow if the part is here. And they put it in but he has reiterated i'm not liable for any of the costs so because it's all still under warranty from the fix they did last year so i'm going to take the winds where i can find the winds anyway i'm going to i just noticed there's laundry i'm going to hang some laundry out and then um go cut rhubarb ready for a rhubarb crumble front garden okay so this is doing very well which is a plant i bought this one's doing very well but i think i'm going to have to put this in a bigger pot which i now have because i've emptied one uh, that's getting buried. This was a plant. It's been eaten by something. These are now coming towards the end, so I might empty those and put some of my new plants in. I'm definitely going to empty some of these and put new plants in. This one is doing very well. It's looking very pretty. Herbs are doing well. That one there needs emptying. That's no good. I might cut this down a little bit. I don't know if it's meant to be going that colour. Doesn't look so healthy. It meant to be going brown on the end. I'm not sure it is meant to be doing that. It's rosemary. It doesn't look very happy, does it? Why does the rosemary not look happy? Did it get singed in the rain, maybe, and then the sun came out? Okay. But I've got these, which I bought. So I'm going to pot some of these up in the planters. First of all, though, I'm going to take the rhubarb down and I've got space to work. I've just had a shower. You can see I've got myself a blister there. Um, I've stood on something outside, walking around barefoot. And when I put my foot down on the floor, there's a sharp feel. Anyway, I need to wash my fingers and I need to cut the leaves off of these and go and dispose of those leaves and cut all of this up and make a crumble. My dinner this evening, a gluten-free cracked black pepper oat cakes, various cheeses. This is like a red onion and something. Can't remember exactly. Uh, Brunswick it's called cheddar premium cheddar sage and red onion um, some double Gloucester an onion double Gloucester with chive that one is so a little selection and I've got mayo um, not mayo I've got coleslaw and potato salad while my crumble is cooking it's now about quarter to seven I'm gonna sit outside let the geese out for a little bit before I put them to bed sit with my 
chair. These are their... Um, I give them these British Romani Romaine hearts. I was giving them the cheap lettuce, which I do sometimes, the iceberg, but it's not very nutritious. This stuff is better for them if I can get it for them. Oh, careful, Marjorie. <laughs> Happens when you can't see where you're going. What's this? Ooh. <laughs> Shall I get it out of the wrapper? Mm, yum, 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 yum. Oh, no. How are you going to get to it? 